Soloway Speaks. It is Friday, having a seat in my chair in my office. Finished seeing the last couple of patients. And we're going to talk about some of the requests that have come in this week. Um, so, first we're going to hit Dr. Julie. Dr. Julie has sent in a request about uh, psoriatic arthritis. So, one of the first things I'm going to tell you about psoriatic arthritis before I get to the five points I would like to make. First of all, you do not need psoriasis to have psoriatic arthritis. Second of all, if you do have psoriasis, you've got a 15% chance of getting psoriatic arthritis. Now, what I want to tell you is that there are five varieties of psoriatic arthritis. There are many people that have psoriasis. There are many physicians that uh, see psoriasis. There are many um, students and such that are exposed to psoriasis, but what I'm going to tell you uh, it's unlikely that you know. Psoriatic arthritis comes in five forms. One, it mimics rheumatoid arthritis. Two, DIP, which are the joints right there closest to the nails. DIP stands for distal interphalangeal joint. What happens to the nail? Pitting, which are like holes. Um onychomyelitis, elevation of the nail bed, occasionally um, splinter hemorrhages, uh, occasionally crumbling or destruction of the actual nail uh, itself. So DIP in nails would be the second, um, the rheumatoid mimic. Then there is axial disease, which involves the uh, sacroiliac joints, typically unilateral. Bilateral would indicate ankylosing spondylitis or Crohn's disease, while unilateral tends to indicate psoriatic arthritis or reactive arthritis. And within the axial skeleton, there is an asymmetric, not a symmetric pattern. Therefore, typically, you do not get a bamboo spine in psoriatic arthritis. Third, that was third. Fourth, oligoarthritis. What is oligoarthritis? Oligoarthritis means there's involvement of between two and five joints. They are large joints. So we can have two wrists and two ankles. That would make four joints. They're large. So what are large joints? Wrist, elbow, shoulder, hip, knees, ankles. What is small joints? Fingers and toes. So we've now discussed four types of psoriatic arthritis. We've discussed that there is a rheumatoid arthritis mimic. We've discussed that there are DIP and nail. We've discussed that there is an axial arthritis, which refers to typically one sacroiliac joint and an asymmetric pattern throughout the axial skeleton, which is typically the, typically the thoracic and lumbar spine. Um, let's see, what am I missing? Um, Arthritis mutilans. What is arthritis mutilans? As the word mutilans indicates mutilation, arthritis mutilans is more destructive even than rheumatoid arthritis. Only tophaceous gout rivals arthritis mutilans in the destructive nature of the joints. So in fact, when people talk about the bad or the crippling arthritis, that would be arthritis mutilans even worse than rheumatoid arthritis. Let me just check. I think there's something I left out, and I don't want to cut you guys short. Just to... Okay, rheumatoid mimic, DIP in nails, arthritis mutilans, axial disease, and oligoarthritis. Okay, I hit all of them. Dr. Julie, I hope that um, this information suits you well. I'll be back, and I will discuss treatments of psoriatic arthritis on the next video. Have a great rest of your evening, night, weekend or whatever you're doing.